peaky peaky at my slash 4x4 VXL project that's coming up. Um, I managed to pick up a near RTR. In fact, all it was missing were the tires and the body. So this is going to be a nice little custom build. I drove it today. I cheated. I wasn't going to drive it until after I finished it, but you know, I couldn't resist, so... This is update two on the uh, Traxxas Slash 4x4 VXL custom that I'm building. Um, I've got my roll cage bars in using the Delrin, very hardcore material the rods. They're, they're fairly cheap too, just a couple of bucks, a buck or two each um, off of eBay. And I've used the old uh, skid, roof skid off my Rustler 4x4 VXL. I had an extra one when I did the green upgrade for that one. Um, so I have zip tied the rods into place and I also use the spoiler, the tail fin off of the Rustler 4x4 VXL. All right, so here it is. This is the final look at the body, everything intact. Uh, the roll bar uh, cage system is in place. As I mentioned in the previous video, I came back in and I typically just use a string and a piece of tape to keep my um, pins in place, or at least keep them attached to the car. So I came up with this nice little new design there. I'm sure somebody else has probably done it out there as well, but anyway, it works for me perfectly. Pretty much automatically stays aligned and it's attached with a little touch of super glue. And then I used a lighter to heat that up and kind of melt it down a little bit. So super glue worked wonders for that. Um, also if you do the super glue you have to make sure you keep it pressed down on the body while you're trying to adhere it um, because otherwise it tends to slide around and it doesn't really want to stick properly so you just gotta make sure you apply some pressure there. Um, what else have we got going on? I've got the the tail fin. Let's take the body off here. I've got the tail fin locked into place. I have the three screws in the bottom as I mentioned before. Zip ties are all the same. I came in with some tape outlined the windows, used um, acetone, aka fingernail polish remover to clean off all the windows, and uh, just be warned that if you use the acetone, it will cause a haze on the window, but after you've cleaned it off thoroughly, go back over it three or four times with rubbing alcohol, and it'll clean some more of it off. So it actually turned out a little more clear than what I thought it was going to be, which is nice, so... Uh, so anyway, that takes care of the whole upper body. I did cut down the ends and sanded them down um, as far as the rods for the roll cage system. And you can see in the front, there's plenty of clearance for that. And on the back, you get it lined up as well. And so for the rear fin, as I mentioned before, I do have the three screws in the bottom, but I came back in with three additional zip ties and ran them through the body around the uh, roll cage system. So I think this is going to be pretty nice. Um, seems like it's going to be sturdy and it'll help uh, protect the car as well. So And it looks nice if you see it from the side. So um, For the lighting system, I did the same thing that you guys have seen in my, uh, on my Rustler 4x4 VXL. Um, see if I can get this in the video properly. If you lift up under the body, you can see once again, that I have the battery zip tied into that little cubby hole that I did before in my previous video. So I came in with my lights, hooked that up. So I did the same three. I have the slash bumpers on my Rustler 4x4. So I did the same light setup. It's lasted 
It's very durable. It's lasted a long time on the other car. I uh, added one here in the middle to shine up under through the windows. And then on the tail, we got that, which is built in like that right there. So then I've got it zip tied. It runs down back up through motor. Try to keep it out of the way as much as possible and as clean as possible. So let me put the lid back on here and turn out the lights so you can see what it looks like. All right, so as you can see, there still is a little bit of light in the room here, but uh, that's kind of what the front end looks like. You can see the underglow. Um, I'm gonna have the uh, dirt mesh and liner, the protective cover underneath, so it'll dampen that light some as well. And it's a little too bright at the moment, so there's the tail end. So everything here is really rugged. Um, the lights have been fairly well proven for me. I've been using them for quite a while. Um, the key element is just to have slack in the line and have everything routed out of the way so it's not going to take any major damage. Um, and also give some slack if you have to take the front apart or the back apart. You can still slide it out and service, whatever. So, all right, so that covers as far as the lights go. Basically, just disconnect the battery out of there. Otherwise, put it in there for storage little storage area right there all right guys so that's it for the phase one of this project um, phase two will consist of me breaking this car repeatedly and then finally getting sick enough of it to do all of the aluminum upgrades which I have on hand but I want to play with this car kind of in its natural state for at least a minute and uh, enjoy the lightness of it um, that's one thing I enjoyed about the rustler 4x4 because um, it really added to the speed factor. Once you install all of the hardware, it does weigh a lot more. Granted, it drives like a dream because it's very precision and it's weighted as far as that goes. So, uh, But I do want to enjoy this one for just a minute um, in its pure state, as light as possible. I can't wait to drive this. I'm going to start punishing it and let's get it on the road for you guys. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace. Close.